Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of my F1 2013 Classic Career Mode here today at China, Shanghai, or Shanghai, China, I should say. Um, so uh, I hope you all enjoy this episode. Um, hopefully it should be, you know, a little bit more entertaining than the previous races because, uh, you know, for some reason with this mode on 2013, because there aren't a lot of cars in it, there isn't really much racing in it either, so... That's pretty unfortunate, but, um, you know, I tried to make the best out of a bad situation, but, uh, anyway, let's get into the race now for the Chinese Grand Prix. Let's hope we can win another race. So here we are then for the grid. Uh, for the Chinese Grand Prix as the green lights come on now it's four lights it's five lights and it's lights out and away we go for the Chinese Grand Prix here we've gotten off to a relatively average start as per usual we've managed to get past our teammate and are we, are we gonna go around the outside of Irvine no we're not we're gonna take it very tentatively into this first quarter because this first corner is very long and uh, as, as we get a tire onto the grass and we're in the gravel that's a great start by me there. Um, just, just want to say that, you know, I didn't mean to do that. I legitimately ran wide and then outbroke myself. But um, anyway, moving on now to the next corner as we dive it down the inside, almost hitting Coulthard. And we broke way later than the rest of those drivers. And we now cut on to the bit before the back straight, I think it is, at China. As we go down... Go down the inside of Schechter and Capelli, I think that was, uh, as we do a drift and on the in on the entrance to that a long, long right-hander. But uh, moving on now to lap two, and I don't know what's gone on there. I think that's Schumacher that spun out or something. I think a Lacey went into the back of him. I don't know what happened there. But uh, anyway, as I think what happened there was we went, we tried to go down the inside of Irvine, and Irvine was trying to go down the inside of. Lacey as we go down the inside of Irvine and Lacey just went into the back of Schumacher I think Schumacher had like a brake issue or something I really don't know what went on there that was really weird but moving on now to the end of lap three coming down the back straight now slipstreaming Lacey and we've managed to get past him relatively easy in a straight line I mean we do have a lot more straight line speed as I just slide it through the corner and he doesn't manage to get past me so uh, moving on now to our first pit stop of the Grand Prix, uh, coming in fairly tentatively because this is the first time I've taken this pit lane entrance. I mean, I know it's the same one 2016, but it's the first time I've taken this pit lane entrance on this game. And obviously, with it being a different handling model, uh, you know, it can be quite tricky to do. So uh, as we come into the pit lane now, that car going past the Zen was actually Mansell, I think. So we're not actually that far behind him. All we need to do is, you know, try and keep up with him and, you know, hopefully win the race. Because uh, after the start that I had uh, on on the first corner, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to be... Well, if we win this race, it's going to be another miracle. Because, you know, it's nearly, nearly impossible to like, win a race in that position. But uh, we go down the inside of Capelli again. Uh, we've only just about managed to catch up with him. Only just about managed to catch up with him. We managed to catch up with him after the pit stop so uh, you know that just shows how much pace we've got um, as we manage to overcut or undercut our teammate Villeneuve so he is behind us now as we get sparks in our face from Schumacher's car I mean how low is that car to the ground literally does it want to be any more lower to the to the to the ground that car I mean it's really low but uh, moving on to lap 11 now we are now um, seeing Nigel Mansell in the pit lane. Bear in mind, this is two two laps before me. Uh, ignore that driving, by the way. I was getting distracted by the fact that, you know, I was seeing him in the pit lane. But, um, you know, it's like that was two laps before me. And he must have had the options on or something. Because I put the primes on. So I don't know. But moving on to lap 13 now, coming into the pit lane for our second pit stop of the Grand Prix. Uh... As you can see there, I think it's real nervous carried on, yeah, because obviously he's our teammate, so he's got to carry on. So um, I would, I don't, I have no idea where Mansell is at this point on the track. 
So maybe we've managed to jump him, I think. I don't know. I mean, there he is now on the top left. In the Oh, no, he's, he's jumped us. He managed to get past us. So he's still ahead of us in on the track as he might as he sets the fastest lap of the grand prix as well typical um so uh moving on to lap 18 now we've managed to catch up to him i will admit he was actually very really hard to catch up to in this race if he had a lot of pace so uh as we go down the inside of him now going down the back straight just cut across him in the braking zone and that's first place for us legitimately so now we're in first place somehow uh, I don't know how, it, I don't know what it is, but AI on this game are really, really weird. As we do a Lewis Hamilton from whatever year it was, and we've been reset. So that's going to lose us time, being reset. Thanks for that game. I really did not want to be reset in that situation because it was, you know, it was a proper, like, an, 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 an important situation. Because, as you can probably tell, Mantle has already pit. So... I don't know where he is at the minute. He's there in fourth place, actually. So he'd be coming down the pitch straight now. And I think he... Yeah, he's just past us. So that's how much time we've lost due to that reset. I mean, he's already gone around the first corner. So this should be hard to get back past Mansell, considering we've got... What is that? Six laps left? Five laps left? Something like that? I can't count. But um, moving on to lap 24 now. Uh, coming past Schumacher to officially make us second in this Grand Prix as Mansell sets another fastest lap for Grand Prix. So we were just like swapping fastest laps all lap, all Grand Prix. It's really strange. But uh, moving on to the end of lap 26 now, going on to lap 27, we've just set us 139 dead as we now pass Mansell going into the first corner. And that should be the win in the bag and yes it is coming around the final corner now to somehow take the win in the Chinese Grand Prix so here we are then the final race classifications here uh, I take the win from Nigel Mansell and Michael Schumacher gets a podium so it was a very good Grand Prix from him uh, Coulthard gets 4th, Irvine is 5th, our teammate is in 6th unfortunately, so not a very good run for him. Uh, Alan Prost is in 7th, Schechter is 8th, Alessi is 9th and Ralph Schumacher rounds out the top 10. So uh, a very good Grand Prix there, we managed to pull out 7.5 seconds in the final lap there. So that shows how quick we were. Um, but uh, moving on to the driver's standings then, we are now 29 points clear of Marginal Mansell, so this title fight is getting down to the wire and for some reason I forgot to record the uh, the um, constructor standing so sorry about that I'll put it in the next video but uh, if you did enjoy this episode please leave a like and a comment and I will see you next time for the next Grand Prix goodbye